Am I the asshole? For sending this text to a woman that flaked last minute on me 2x for a first date. I matched with a woman on Hinge and set up a first date at a bar. 1.5 hours before we were supposed to meet up. She texted me saying that she got into a minor car accident and would like to rain check. Offering a date later that weekend. I was pretty skeptical about this but gave her the benefit of the doubt. I said of course. Sorry to hear about the car and hope you're okay. Let's reschedule to the weekend. We set up another date a few days later. Three hours before we were supposed to meet up. She once again flaked last minute saying hi again. I am so sorry to this but I am having some issues with the person that backed into my car. I don't want to meet when I'm not in a good mindset. If we could, I would like to maybe postpone to maybe next week. But if not, of course I understand and again I am really sorry about this. I sent her this in response hey again. Sounds like you've had a tough couple days with the car. And I hope it works out. That being said, you've flaked last minute twice and I've rescheduled reservations. I value my time and I have a one-time only flake policy before I'm out. I'm sorry. I've always subscribed to the Mark Manson philosophy when it comes to dating if it's not AFCK. Yes. It's a no and I don't want to waste my time with women with low or no interest it doesn't sound. Like this woman is too keen on meeting up. I have another first date later that week and am going to hit up my other matches too to set up. More dates. Am I the asshole? Edit lots of interesting and varied opinions. Thank you guys for your insight. In hindsight, the last part of my text was maybe a little bit too extra but I still stand by calling people out. Who flake recurrently? One thing I forgot to add was that both times. I confirmed that we were still on for the date and she agreed. Then a few hours later a few hours before the date she flaked. Not the asshole. But I wouldn't have sent the second half of the message. Sounds like she ain't interested. But I just punted completely into her court to plan the next date. Your message reads like you took it personally. You could have just said the first part. Sounds like you're having a rough week. I hope you feel better soon. And then not waste any more energy on her. If she reaches out and goes the effort to reorganize something then that's cool too. Might be worth considering what made you feel the need to text her the second part. Did you want her to feel bad? Did you want to reject her because you felt rejected? Honestly, to me, it sounds like bull anyway. Three days later, she gives you nearly the same excuse. Isn't even creative at that point. Not the asshole. You was honest. I see a lot of people claiming you were trying to make her feel bad. I disagree. You just said the truth and the truth is enough to make her feel bad because. Unfortunately. The truth hurts ah ha ha Being a woman. Reading the responses and knowing I myself have said similar things when something had come up. Where I had to reschedule. I will be rethinking how I respond from now on. I had no idea that the guy on the other end would immediately jump to the conclusion that I was lying if I said if not. I understand. I learn something new every day in the dating world. She wasn't that interested is my take on it. If she really wanted to meet you she would. If the texts are long and shorter that's also a sign. You're right to tell her what you did. She can make the effort. Not the asshole. It's always fair to turn down a date after she flakes. However I read it as her being aware of her moods and openly communicating. I don't think you can infer she wasn't interested from just this. You handled it perfectly. For me. You get one flake max and it better be a good reason and you'd better make some sort of attempt to re. Schedule. Two last minute flakes in a row would be automatic disqualification from me. Block her and move on. The response is a bit over what I would send but it's blunt and a reasonable response. If her reasons are real. Then she's right for not wanting to go out in a bad mood. 
You're also right for once is a mistake. Twice is a habit mindset and flaking twice is a habit. I'd have been more terse in the response sorry for your bad week. Hope it works out but it doesn't feel like this is going to work out. It's a first date and it's not like you guys have to split the house and dog. It's okay to have your own standards. Stand on M. Not the asshole. Time is precious. You don't know her. Why should you give her the benefit of the doubt twice? Fuck what everyone else is saying. When text the same thing to men who fake and people tell them yes. As you should. She knew how she felt all week but didn't let you know. She didn't value your time. I'm glad you said that because someone needed to humble her. If she didn't get hurt. There's no excuse to text someone last minute when you have made plans and put effort already. I had this happen recently. First excuse was the flu and second was my cousin hurt himself on a toy. I left after date 30 minutes when she no-showed the first time. And I was halfway driving there on the second time. It was one of those fool me once shame on you. Fool me twice shame on me situations. Didn't bother replying. Not an asshole. By her saying. But if not. Of course I understand and again I am really sorry about this. To me. That's her way of poking you to say. No I don't want to see you. I think she was having second thoughts about going on the date in the first place. Not the asshole, she's obviously not really interested. I think calling out someone for flaking is the right thing to do because otherwise these people would have no correction to their bad behavior. She probably flakes all the time and thinks it's a completely normal behavior. Hopefully in the future she will consider your message with her next matches. I think it's an honest response and good feedback to her regarding time management and social commitments. So the only time to deal with her issue was when she made a social commitment with you. I have a standard reply for stuff like this. No worries. Take care. Short enough to let her know that you're ticked off. But not really saying goodbye either. Ball in her court. I was gonna say I think she is polite and still interested. But I read the post out to my husband and he thinks she is not truly interested from her last line. Haha. <laughs> so I dk. Edit to add he thinks your line about a flake policy is a bit childish too. I wouldn't have come at her like that. I would have said. It sounds like you have a lot on your plate. When your schedule gets a little less hectic. Let me know and we'll set something up then. Ball is in her court now. And you entertain other possibilities. Maybe she's legit. But more than likely she's just not that into you. You handled the situation perfectly. She might be interested just hasn't got her shit together. Some people have poor organizing skills and their life is always chaotic. Yes I don't date unreliable people. I will next too. She was trying to get rid of you brother cut the loss lol. Not the asshole. I've had women flake on me three times before and it just shows they don't care about your time or effort and instead of making up for it. They make excuses. Don't feel bad. You dodge a bullet. Yeah this person is making multiple dates and you are her backup option. It seems like y'all are incompatible already. Mostly on your end. You seem to value people keeping their word so you're a little more rigid with last minute changes. She's probably okay with last minute changes and goes with the flow. I think that alone serves as a disconnect. I just started a friendship with a girl named Katie who is more like you. She doesn't like when things change at the last minute. I know myself and I'm more lenient with stuff like that especially with people I don't know well. I am hesitant to be Katie's friend now. Yeah, it's fine. Just say what you want to say and leave it at that. The only appropriate response is none at all. When girls do this to you just delete their contact info. Never message them again and move on with your life. 